Day is the biggest day of the year for most people to visit their loved ones' graves in the cemetery. There is a Central Nebraska couple that helps to clean headstones so they look their best. For this segment of All in a Day's Work, NTV's Brian Ganuzzi takes us to Gibbon to see what goes into this challenging work. It's another cool May morning, and Vicki Farrell is hard at it. Her husband and assistant Denny will be joining her shortly. When Danny's grandparents were getting too old to start cleaning their family ones, we ended up starting cleaning them. And one day I said to him, you think I could make a business out of this? And he said, well, you can try. It didn't take long for them to increase their base of customers, and the business has kept growing ever since. Hard water sits on those stones, and if you don't take care of them and clean them, then they just keep building up and building up and building up. This is her parents' headstone. Since she cleans this one every year, it's usually a lot less work. We'll blow the uh, stone and dry it and make sure it's good and dry, and then we'll polish it with soft rags. Make sure that the major part of the stone doesn't have any streaks left on it where the names and everything are. So, okay, she's done. May is always the busiest month of the year for Vicki as she tries to get most of her work done before Memorial Day. So between now and Memorial Day, I have over 100 plus stones to get cleaned. One of her longtime customers is Treva Gangwish. She has Vicki and Denny clean a few different stones, including the one for her and her husband. Do you think your, your husband Wendell is up there smiling when he sees Vicki coming or what do you think? <laughs> I imagine he is. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he's smiling when he sees it uh, nice and pretty. But I just think it's something we like to do for our loved ones is keep them as nice as possible. Vicki explained that at first it was a bit of a learning curve to figure out the best way to get the stones cleaned. But over the past eight years, they've come up with a pretty good system with lots of water, then treatments of acid and plenty of elbow grease, and later rubbing them down with a manufactured stone. It can be hard to know exactly how long each job will take, but Vicki keeps at it until she's satisfied with the work. When we get to the very end, we dry them, and if there's still stuff on them, I start the process all over again and clean where I need to clean again. The entire process, including dragging hoses across this and other large cemetery properties, is not an easy job. The two will spend a number of days in the Kearney Cemetery and a few weeks here in Gibbon. I like it just because of the fact it's history. It's the families that have existed here over the years. I think we need to keep these stones maintained uh, and I call it love. Betty ran into the Farrells when she was visiting her husband's grave in Kearney and now has them clean multiple family stones. She does such a good job and she does it with love. And after cleaning hundreds of headstones, I asked Vicki what color they will someday buy for themselves. Gray. <laughs> and not a big one, a little one. <laughs> for whatever reason, it just doesn't show the hard water as fast as some of the other colors do. And while they hope to sell their little business in a few years to someone that will be as dedicated as they are, for now, it's a labor of love. Yeah, I love it. It's just satisfying to know that you can make something look new again. Reporting from Gibbon, I'm Brian Ganuzzi.